Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear friends, in the previous video, we have learned how to design a simple RC beam using Midas gel. In this exercise, we will learn how to check a beam for the given reinforcement. So, the problem statement is check the adequacy of a simple RC beam having the size of 300 by 650 mm and a span length of 5 meter. All the loadings and the material properties have been discussed in the previous video. This is the uh, reinforcement details given to 10 mm diameter bars for top and bottom as a longitudinal reinforcement and 10 mm diameter bars at 250 mm center to center spacing as shear reinforcement. This reinforcement is for the complete span. So we will have to check either this beam is having a quiet strength for the given loadings or not. So let's get into the software screen. We have just opened our previous project uh, of a simple beam now we put some reinforcement to this beam and then we will check this beam for the given loadings for this reinforcement either it is adequate or not so to do this just go to the design tab and click on this rc design button and Go to the modify beam rebar data. So this dialog box is up here. Okay, so it is showing one section B300 by 650 that we have uh, uh, previously defined. So just select this. There are the three ways to put the reinforcement. Either put this section for throughout the length, either there are the two sections for one for both ends and one for center or each end and center. Each end and center means and I can be separate and J can be separate and center one is separated. So we are now for the time being selecting both end and center and there are some other options beneath this picture. Same main rebar size at top and bottom. This means that for top, let's say two bars P12, so for bottom it is locked, means dia is locked if this option is checked. So let's uncheck it so it is now okay. We can change it as well. Now the second one is same main rebar size at I, M and J ends. This means that for both ends and center same main rebars. So you can see that for this particular uh, center bars these are locked. The diameters are locked. You can only modify the numbers of bars but the diameter are locked. So uncheck it. So these two are now active. We can change it. The third one is same main rebar size at each layer. This means that for layer number one at top will go to the layer number two at top. So this uh, dia uh, bar is now button is now freezing. So just uncheck it. So all the options are now active, and we can change it. So we can now change as per our reinforcement desired reinforcement so let's uh, uh, take top bars for both end at 2 10 mm dia bars at end both ends and 2 10 mm dia bars at center layer number 2 does not have any bars similarly bottom layer number 1 has two bars for dia number 10 at both ends and two bars for dia number 10 at center as well and layer number two does not have any bars you have to enter the covers here dt and db 0.04 and this particular cover is from the edge of the section to center of rebar here is the legend you can see okay so you can see HC means height, BC means width and all the things, DB and DC. Okay. Now this is the graphics of the sections 
that we have assigned the data is reflected here so we can check it as well let's say we, uh, we can increase the bar so increasing here so after this we can we will change the share reinforcement let's say stirrup p10 dia number 10 two legs at 250 so when you click on the next button you will show a whole complete value similarly 2 at 250 click on this button let's say and it's 250 skin reinforcement we don't want any skin reinforcement here for the time being so click on add and replace button so you can see in the tree menu under the rebar data beam data this particular section has been added right just go to close and then we'll go to perform batch design you can see that there is a lock button post processing mode is being uh, checked so it means that analysis is uh, completed we don't want to analyze it again just go to concrete beam checking previously we have to design that beam for the given loadings so we check on this button but now we'll have to check the beam for the given reinforcement so we'll have to select this option concrete beam checking and then click run so it is now showing that i end is okay j end is okay but middle section is not okay so just click on this check button and then graphic so we can see that all the data we have put there is reflected here so we have assigned two bars of dia 10 at each section at each position top and bottom so it is reflected here and we can see that the middle section for the bottom reinforcement is not okay it is showing the utilization ratio of 1.2634 3, it is greater than 1 so it is not okay similarly we can check our shear reinforcement that we have assigned there to dia 10 bars at 250 it is okay right so we will have to increase the number of bars at mid section so just go to the tree menu and click on this uh, section and right click go to the properties so this dialog box appears again just select the both end and center so all the values which ha we have previously entered is retained now just go to bottom layer 1 and increase the number of bars as 3 and click on add and replace go to close and just click on the perform batch design click on the concrete beam check and run now you can see both i and j and the middle section as well is now okay just click graphics okay so we can see that there are now three bars at the bottom for the mid section right and the utilization ratio for each end and the mid section is now okay so in this way we can check the beam for any loadings for any reinforcement so we'll see you in the next video take care